Yo, what's going on, everybody? Dark Zekrom here, back with Storm Targaryen, and we are back on Tier Mania for you guys with another new video. This one's gonna be a little bit more casual, as you guys can clearly see by the title and the thumbnail and what you're looking at right now. We're gonna be doing a soda tier list. Uh, now, I know that there's not every soda in the world here, but these are. We went through a few different templates. This is one we actually did not make. We will leave the link to the template down below, which. Um, you guys can make your tier list that way and share them to us on our either our private Twitters or the Tier Mania Twitter. But uh, this is one that we found. Uh, I'm not quite sure who it's by. I will put the um, person if I can find it somewhere on the screen or in the description. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I mean, Storm, you want to talk about how we're going to rank in this? Because it's going to be pretty casual. Yeah, it's super chill. I mean, the other ones with the previous Tier Mania videos, obviously, you know, if you watch them, we try to make it objective as possible and factor in all these different elements. But with this, it's just what we think tastes good. <laughs> like that's kind of how much you can really it. go off of. I guess if we really wanted to delve a little deeper, we could go based off the recognition of the brand and or the design of the can. I mean, you, I mean, we could go like sales if we really wanted to, but yeah, ain't nobody care about sales. So we let's care about I mean, taste. Exactly. And we, since we're using a creative one for this, we didn't include, like Jason said, we didn't include a bunch of the more obscure ones. So we're sorry if your favorite soda is on here. We just went with, you know, the most general, most recognizable in our opinion. With a little bit there. of here and there kind of thrown into mix, you miss you up a little bit. Exactly. And who knows, maybe after you come out of this, you'll find something that you've never tried before. Try it and it might become your favorite. There so you go. Uh, without further ado, let's jump in with the first one. Coca-Cola, an absolute classic scientifically engineered to make sure you are never sick of its taste i don't know if you knew that that is actually true the flavor was scientifically engineered to make sure you never get sick of it and it's working it's yeah working. absolutely I'm, I drink coke <laughs> all the time i'm a big boy and uh, it contributes to that but it's a classic bro like how do you not like coke i get it because you know there's been tons of experiments like oh if you leave coke out it turns into tar you can, so you shouldn't yeah drink that. and you can use it as toilet bowl cleaner if you really wanted to as well yeah all that stuff but the thing is at the end of the day tastes fire it goes with literally everything i think this is an easy easy yes here yeah i mean starting out the the gate strong i mean you've got no no other option really i mean it also is pretty I'm, i would like to say is the thing that made soda mainstream yeah. Plus, back in the day, if we're talking about it, it had a little cocaine in it, and that's that's always a little fun, you know, a little boost a little, in your step in the morning. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little spice in your life. A little you spice know? in your life. I don't. It was like 0 0.02 milligrams, but it was there. Yeah. It was there. Uh, next up, we got a. Uh, we have it kind of organized to be in kind of colas, then the fruitier drinks, then some little, you know, like Mountain Dew is kind of its own thing, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna go in order of the colas and kind of their flavors. So, uh, next up, we've got Cherry Coke which I would say is a nice strong A. It's a nice alternative to Coke, but I wouldn't say it's on the same level as Coke. I, here's the thing. I know a lot of people think it's better than Coke. Really? That's the problem. Yeah. A lot of people feel that way. I mean, Cherry Coke's I, great. Yeah, it is. And I, I agree with you. I think it's A tier, but I know a lot of people will ride or die for Cherry Coke, which <laughs> <laughs> of all the things to stand, I didn't think Cherry Coke would be the one, but this it, is it's indeed. got fame cherry coca-cola stand account absolutely apparently. apparently but it's fire i mean it's, it's coke it was just a little bit of that that zing that zest yeah that boom pound. i'm not so. a fan of cherries on their own and cherry flavored things i'm not usually a big fan of but cherry coke definitely can i can i can vibe with some cherry coke that's uh, the thing like, I, don't, I don't know why with soda but for some reason with soda or pop whatever you call it if you put cherry in it it just makes it better like it, and that doesn't work for everything else it's no. just soda yeah it's it bizarre better. it's a weird phenomenon I don't know, man. But I mean, hey, Cherry Coke, nice and solid A tier. What are we thinking about Vanilla Coke, though? This is my dad's favorite. My dad will, my dad will ride and die for this stuff. I'm a Vanilla Coke hater. Really? I'm a vanilla Coke hater. I don't get the hype at all. I feel like if, if anything, it just makes it taste weirder. It makes it taste different. I mean, obviously different, but it just it, it like waters it down to me. I'm like, I don't, I, I don't need this at all. I don't know if I agree with you on that. I I do like myself some vanilla Coke. I think vanilla Coke is a nice, like I said, alternative, very similar to cherry Coke. I'd even put it right next to cherry Coke, if not on top of, if we could do that. But um, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, since this is kind of a combination of both of ours, I think that does have to put it down to B. Yeah, I, I think B tier is a good spot for it. But I mean, if this was just me, I was going D tier. <laughs> like I, I, I don't get the hype, but I mean, obviously a lot of people like it. So we yeah. got to keep that in mind. That's fair. I'm, I'm the minority here. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of cherry. Even I mean, I'm cherry vanilla. That is a thing. That is also good. 
but we're not talking about that. Uh, Coke Zero Sugar. I don't personally know the difference between these two. <laughs> Uh, I'll, to be honest, they're both whack. Like, I, I don't get Coke Zero either. I don't either. Like, it just, it just, I don't know. Whenever I taste it, I'm like, what is this? Like, what, why would anyone choose this? Obviously, you know, it's, it's healthier for you, which is nice, but. It's healthier I mean, just don't drink race. soda. You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's a, that's a different conversation, but like, I don't know. I just, it didn't, it never seemed yeah, I don't get like a good option. So. Here. <laughs> yeah. I will say a testament to the add cherry to anything. Cherry Coke Zero is fire. That's one of my favorites, just in general. Snap. Like, Telling cherry you the cherry theory. It's, it's 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 a conspiracy theory now. Um, <laughs> add cherry to make you buy more. Um, and then just regular Diet Coke. I mean, I mean it's good for what it is. It's like it's a solid diet drink. But I'm just like I said before. I'm, I'm the mindset of. If you want something healthier, just don't drink soda. Yeah. Like, and, and, and there's there's tons of drinks that are healthy that have like really nice flavors to them. But yeah. uh, I mean, as a diet soda, it's solid. It's just, I mean, the commercials are good for Diet Coke. Absolutely. Diet Coke commercials are they great. make me want to buy it. I'm not going to, <laughs> but they make me want to. <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> it's enticing. So, yeah. I don't know. I think C tier is pretty good for That's it. That's why I put it there. It's very middle of the road. Man, we're already filling out these tiers. Look at this, guys. You have to get an F, though. <laughs> well, we'll get there, I'm sure. Um, all right, regular Pepsi. I mean, it's the Coke or Pepsi thing. If we're going with the meme, it's A tier, just because it can't be as good as Coke. But flavor-wise, yeah. I think it's I think it's probably on par. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Coke stan, so I'm like, man, screw Pepsi. But it, obviously, <laughs> it's good. Like, I, it's it's totally good. It's, I get why people love it. It's, it has that classic taste. It's something alternative. If you're not into Coke and you want like a cola, I think Pepsi's obviously the next best the next best thing, if not better. Obviously, it's subjective, so I don't know. But I think it's A tier. And but if you want to put it S tier, just because of you know it being Pepsi and being super iconic, I could totally see that too. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, something's telling me to put it in S tier, but also something's telling me to leave it down here. <laughs> I don't know why. I say leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Because uh, cherry, and cherry Pepsi. Pepsi is after. <laughs> <And> cherry <laughs> Pepsi is fire. Like it just makes it that much better. But for some reason, I don't know why. You would think with this logic, like cherry Coke and Pep and cherry Pepsi would be at the top, and then Coke and Pepsi would be an A. But I don't know. Like cherry Pepsi makes it so much better to me. I yeah. don't know how to explain. I think what it is is Coca Cola's classic formula. Just the base. This is what Coca Cola is. Is so like I said, engineered to be so good. When you add something to it, it doesn't make it better. It just makes it an alternative. While with Pepsi, Pepsi just naturally has a little bit of a flatter taste, at least to me. So when you add something else to it, it makes it that much better. So I think that's mm. what it is. I think it's just Coke is already just so perfect as a soda, which is weird to say, um, that it just doesn't need to have anything added to it. And then if you do add things to it, it just makes it different rather than better but with pepsi i think it just has like a naturally like flatter a little 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 less zingy tone to it if we're talking like wine tones now uh that yeah. adding something to it gives it that bit of a, a boost in, in in flavor to me i agree yeah <laughs> i mean that's there a pretty go. good way to put it honestly. thank you i'm talking in depth about these sodas today uh mm -hmm. Speaking of vanilla vanilla Pepsi, though, I mean, I think it's I think it's below cherry Coke, but not in the same level as. Actually, it's probably on par with vanilla Coke. I mean, listen, I, if I didn't like cherry Coke, you know, I'm not gonna like cherry Pepsi. Even or not Pepsi? cherry, a uh, vanilla. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 that I do not like vanilla Pepsi at all. Vanilla Coke, I could see why people would like it. It's just not for me. Mm -hmm. With vanilla Pepsi, I'm like, why? Like, <laughs> what I, is I, this? <laughs> I don't know about that. But, yeah. I don't know. You know. I think it's fine there. It's definitely not better than vanilla Coke, though. Um, mm -hmm. But we have vanilla cherry Pepsi. I don't know why we don't have vanilla cherry Coke or cherry vanilla Coke. Right. Um, but we have, excuse me, cherry vanilla Pepsi, which, I mean, I feel like this has to be A tier just because it's a mix of two flavors that are either really good or really bad to you. But I like it <laughs> in general. <laughs> I feel like it goes top of B tier because the thing is, okay. right, with the rest of these, I've heard a lot about them. With this one, I don't hear people talking about that a lot. People do not hype up. It's a cherry valid point. Pepsi. It's also that's a mouthful. Cherry vanilla I know. Pepsi. Gosh, Ugh. it's not. <laughs> who, who talks these days? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, next up, Diet Pepsi. Weirdly enough, I feel like I hear more about Diet Pepsi than Diet Coke. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like I don't know what the hype is because I've either. had it and I'm like, this just tastes like Pepsi, but worse. But again, as a diet option, really good if that's what you got to do. I think so. Honestly, it's definitely higher than Diet Coke, but I think it might be bottom B. I'd say popularity wise, it is. Yeah, like it's 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 so surprising how often you see people drinking them, and obviously that's that's a sign. So it's doing I something. It's gotta right. be B. I'm doing something. It's doing right. something right. All right. Doing something right. This next one, RC is my favorite soda in general. Royal Crown Cola is so good. It's not overbearing. It's it's got a bit stronger flavor than Coke, but it's also on the same level where you can just drink lots of it. I had it with spiced rum Kraken a few weeks ago, and that was so good. So I this is like SS tier for me, dude. Like I love this soda. I don't know how you feel about it though. Listen, I hate to burst your bubble, but I just I there's no way we could put it that high because who drinks RC? You know, it's always Coke or Pepsi. It's always it's it's not it's popular. Like, it's it's I, I'm I'm trying to think of a accurate comp, but it's just I I don't know why you would choose that over Pepsi or Coke. It you know, it just it, me. I mean, and obviously it's subjective, but exactly. whenever I have it, I'm like this literally just tastes like a less interesting Coke and Pepsi. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's just it's just not what you want usually. But I mean, and the thing is, it's not that popular either. Like I yeah. very rarely go to restaurants and see rc cola is an the option. only time i get rc is if i buy it from the store it's very much um i, I don't usually this isn't i don't usually use this unironically it's very much a boomer soda it's mm -hmm. it's it's an old person soda i think like more of a young like older generation the younger generation doesn't know what this is i only found out about it when i was younger my parents just happened to buy it one day but i really mm -hmm. like it it's my favorite and it's been my favorite ever since then um but i think that's gonna kind of push it higher than where you would have put it I don't know yeah, where you I were going to put it originally, though. If we average ours out, I think it's B tier. You're going to put it that low? <laughs> yes. Because, like, oh, man. even with the diet options, I could see <clears throat> the dip. I could see why you would choose that over them. But, Fair. Top of B? I, I, I'd I put it directly in the middle. That's like what I'm gonna, Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Man, RC, you, you've done dirty <laughs> again, man. <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you guys, go get some RC. If you're of legal age to drink, try it with some spice rum. Stuff is great really really good but uh next up we got sam's cola sam's cola this is like rc but worse <laughs> <laughs> sam's cola this man's <laughs> it's sam's <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's like, i don't i don't see any reason to drink this this is like i don't oh my goodness it's a unique... I, don't, I don't even know it's like if you go over to your friend's house and you're like oh like do you have pop tarts or something and they're like, yeah, sure. And they taste, they take you into the pantry, and all it is is just like, it's like gingerbread flavor. And you're like, what? The, it's not even Christmas time. Like, what are we, what are we doing? These are like a week expired. Like, what, what you, you had these since two years. What are you doing? Go get new pop tarts. <laughs> it's just not what you want. Yeah, so, it, goes, I mean, it goes there. No, yeah. no, it goes there. I think it's D tier because, like, who in the world? I don't, I don't think I've ever seen someone drink a Sam's Club. I don't think it comes in cans either. <laughs> it's only I'm sorry a two liter. If you're a, fan, if you're a fan of Sam's, but you're on your own on this one, Chief. Yeah, Sam's is uh Sam's is like not good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> exactly. Uh but moving on to uh Dr. Pepper. This is a classic dude. I feel like it's high A or maybe low S. Like it's really good yeah i i think it's i yeah i agree it's it's so good and it's like we've obviously we've been hyping up cherry flavored stuff and this is the cherry flavored thing cherry <laughs> yeah. flavor so you just you and honestly i don't know why i genuinely don't know why but with dr pepper it's one of the only sodas i can drink just by itself yep. like with no food nothing just just sip it on a dr pepper you know <laughs> i just like, need some dr p bro <laughs> dr pop speaking of doctors <laughs> dr pop went to an online school that's how he got his degree <laughs> dr pop was like definitely homeschooled and like, like i don't know if you saw this but uh i used to do track back in the day 
And uh, if you went to track meets, there was always like this one homeschool team and they were just garbage because it was like <laughs> their parents like forcing them to go outside. And that's what Dr. Pop is. It's oh, like, why are you man. here? <laughs> like, what, do you, what are we doing? Like, this isn't even like Mr. Bib. <laughs> This is like, yeah, Mr. Like, where's Mr. Pib? <laughs> Mr. Pib needs to ha hold his throne. What the hell is this? We get Doctor like Pop instead of Mr. Like, Pib. It's like his younger cousin, Doctor Pop. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> shit. Know, this is F tier. <laughs> sorry, if you're a Doctor Pop fan, but uh, all one of you, all one or two of you, explain please in the comments. <laughs> God. Exactly. Shitty ass soda. Anyway. <laughs> a and w a classic root beer can't go wrong they got their own restaurants a lot of the times they're combined with a kfc or a long john silvers mm -hmm. they're good stuff listen i i don't have too much input here because i'm not a big root beer guy i've never liked it so i don't know which root beer is better you're gonna have to school me on this one but i mean i see a lot of people drinking it so it's gotta be decent it's good stuff it's <laughs> it's easily it's easily a tier um i'm gonna put it under this no i'm gonna put it here We'll put it there. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Uh, next up, that we got Barks. Barks is a little bit of a different flavor than A and W. Um, it, it's it's got like a it's got like a bit of a sweeter tone to it to me when I have it, and I I prefer that personally. Um, a and W is good, but I whenever I see Barks, I know that like if I'm pouring Barks out, if I put my cup up to the, the, the soda dispenser and I get Barks out of it, I know it's going to be really like foamy, which root beer is just naturally. That's just kind of a trait of root beers. It's foamy. Um, but uh, I, I, I think I prefer Barks. I don't know if you had Barks. You said you haven't had root beer much though. No, I haven't. Yeah. I prefer Barks personally. Um, mug. I don't know how I feel about mug root beer. Cause what? it's, not i don't have it that often but when i do it's good but it also feels like the younger brothers to these two you know yeah i mean honestly i see mug more than i see barks and like yeah. restaurant yeah you know? i don't know i i think i see opposite over here maybe it's a, a regional thing because i don't yeah, think i've see seen mug in, in restaurants as much as i've seen barks yeah weird Maybe uh, east and west of the Rockies, <laughs> people prefer their different root beers. I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe it's a coast thing. I don't know. I guess. Um, I mean, if we could put things on top of each other, I'd literally put this directly on top of Barks. So I guess it's got to go underneath it. Yeah. I mean, like I said, A&W is a classic. I was hyping it up when we started talking about it. But I mean, I think it's the worst out of the three. <laughs> <laughs> but then we got uh, Sioux City Sarsaparilla. This stuff is like an alternative rock band of sodas and root beers. <laughs> it's very specific <laughs> i've had their I mean, cream sodas continue okay i mean is it would you compare it to like a mac demarco where it's like it's indie but it's not that indie or are we going like full deep the band name is something ridiculous like it, like it, we are exploding diaper band like, <laughs> no not that far we're not, we're not we're not we're not greg heffley we're not going that far okay. um okay. we're I, I it's it's oh god i'd put it at like I don't know. I'd put it like what's what's an indie band that we've listened to? Um other than Mac DeMarco. Can't think of that one. That I've listened to? Yeah. Uh there's one I found You've just shown me a it. few. Um, let me pull it up. It is Hotel Ugly. Is Hotel the name Ugly. I really, <laughs> really I'd say I'd say Sioux City is like two steps up from a Hotel Ugly style band. Okay. So it's like kind of so deep, but not super deep. You don't see it. It's I think it's pretty much only in bottles, and it's kind of specific. You might have to go to like those specific like weird candy stores, and that that'll have sodas with them, kind of thing. Oh, um, yeah. It's good though. I mean, it's it, it's it's very specific flavor. If you don't like root beer, I don't think you're gonna like this because it's like pure sarsaparilla. It, it's yeah. good though. It, it's it's good, but I it's it's like I don't know. It's like it's like here. It's it's not the best. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. We talked a lot about that random ass soda. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, um... <laughs> oh, well, so, hold on. Big Red? I thought that was a gum. Like a no, gum brand. No. Big Red is a soda. I, I've i seen it only in, like, Texas and, and, like, East Coast stuff. Is it good? 
it's 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 okay <laughs> the people who like it really like it crow big red <laughs> the people who like it really it like it but it's it's definitely c tier i think it's better uh, than it's, cherry it's coke, like, diet coke is it like the, the wes anderson movie of of sodas like it's it's got a huge cult following but it's not necessarily something you're gonna go see with the whole family i wouldn't say it's fully cult it's not a it's not a cult classic kind of soda it's definitely like a little more of the general where it's where it can be bought it's good and people enjoy it but if you've never had it or if you've never seen it then you have it you're like okay this isn't anything i've really had like not had before so it, it's 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 a good soda coming from a west coast california boys perspective it's okay fair enough uh then we got fago fago is like the hotel ugly loaded extremely exploding <laughs> diaper kind of style yep. band we got multiple for it. i just the only time i've ever seen fago is like used in mixed drinks like I, i've never i've never seen someone just be like oh man after a hard day at the construction work job i'm doing construction work I job fago. i need a fago <laughs> it sounds weird it almost like it sounds uncomfortable to say <laughs> yeah it's, it's something all right but I don't know. I, I feel like it also. I, I feel like both of them go just right above Big Red. Yeah, like it, I've. I, they have their audience. I but. had to go to an extremely specific store to get a Fago. They're like a very Midwestern kind of thing. The person that I heard about Fago from was from like Minnesota, or 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 Minneapolis. What is it? Uh, Michigan. I think he was from actually. He was he was from like over there, you know. That's the thing. I, I lived in Minnesota for four years. I did not see. One person drinking a Fago. Exactly. Like, not, like, uh, I, I don't know I don't how know. popular it is anymore. I think it went away and came back. Not like fully, they took it away, but like it disappeared in popularity and then came back a little bit. But I had, when I had it, and this was quite a while ago, I had to go to a very specific beverage store that was holding it. And they had like very weird bottles for it. It was, it was good though, but it wasn't anything nutty, you know, it, it, it was good. But, so um, knock your socks off, but it, it gets the job yeah. done. When we hit Big Red, I'm pretty sure we bumped out of this the colas. I probably should have mentioned that. Um, but now we're like into the fully like fruity the stuff. Fruity drinks. The fruity drinks, yeah, lemon limes, fruit, citrusy stuff. Um, but we've got uh, we got ourselves Sprite, and I mean this is Sprite. Sprite is S tier. It's S tier. It has to be yeah. S tier, and I think it's here. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. completely think it's there. Sprite, I think it's great. Sprite is the drink of the people. No, <laughs> I don't know why Sprite just became the advocate for the culture, but it is. It like, is it's absolutely. just, it's just the drink. And I, obviously, it mixes well with like everything. So yeah, it's a lemon lime. It's clear. I, I kind of, I've kind of still in this phase where I've been steering away from darker sodas, and Sprite's like my go-to for anything. And if they don't have Sprite, I get their alternative, which is like the Seven Ups and stuff. And, but um, and we can't we can't mention sprite and not mention mcdonald's sprite Mc which goes bro so hard oh uh, no reason it's i so good. when i was still going into school there was a time where i would take my friend you know i think you know the friend i'm talking about i would take my friend when we were still hanging out we would i take him to school and take him home and we would um go to mcdonald's there's a mcdonald's right next to our school like a good like two three minute drive away and that specific McDonald's Sprite, I, it was like a nicer McDonald's. I think they very specifically were handling the soda machine in a way that made it good because I've never had such a crisp Sprite than from there. <laughs> and it was so good. And it was something we looked forward to every day. We'd cheers every day and it was great. Moral of the story, we don't know what McDonald's doing to them sodas, but something, something <laughs> they took good. A, they took a page working. out of the original Coke recipe and put cocaine exactly. in them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> something over there. But uh, next up, we got Sprite Cranberry, which is a bit of a meme. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the commercials for this. Honestly, I was Sprite so excited cranberry. to try this, and it, I was very underwhelmed. Like, it's good, but it's not that great. Like, I don't think it. Yeah. I don't think it's better than any of the other. Obviously, it's cranberry, so it's not cherry. But I feel like all the cherry flavors we talked about are better than this one. Mm -hmm. like, I agree. This one leaves like a weird taste in my mouth. Like, yeah, it, it kind of lingers. I, I think it's just the Sprite formula, but for some reason. Whenever Sprite has multiple flavors of things, they never like go well together. You always just taste mainly Sprite and then yeah. a little bit of something. Yeah. Like it, I, I just I put it here just as a temporary. I think it definitely is like B tier, maybe maybe C tier. I don't know though. Mm hmm What do you think? Um, I I put it like bottom of B because it's still yeah. solid and it's good for the memes, but yeah, you know. Um, next up we've got Seven Up. 
Seven Up is like off-brand Sprite to me. I always have the weirdest taste in my mouth whenever I drink Seven Up. Like I'll finish my can and then I'll be sitting there and I'll just be like, hey, "What is, <laughs> what is this? I have like a taste in my mouth. I don't know what it is." And yeah, just, it, I don't know. It, it definitely has a strong aftertaste, but I think it's good. Like it's really yeah. solid. It's also a great uh, childhood game if you ever had to play that. I hate Heads Up Seven Up. I hate it. Dude, no, I have a Heads vendetta against that game. It's the best. It's no. so fun. It's the best because you were probably popular. That's probably no, why it was the best. No, I was just cheating. I would, oh. like, I would like look behind under my desk and look for their shoes. Lamel. You know? But anyway, you. but no, I I, I hate seven up, seven up seven up, bro. As a game, I, I never I, never liked it. It's pretty good. I I think like if you really don't like it, we could just put it C tier. But um, I think it's really solid. It's it's a great op or alternative to Sprite if you're not feeling it. If we were talking about the game, that's an F tier. If we're talking about the soda, it's wow. it's A tier. Okay. <laughs> Childhood game tier list coming soon. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, I, I, think don't, I don't think it's B, I think I think it's B tier, to be honest. Yeah. As much as I, I don't think it's better. Than I think it's top of B though. Yeah, I, I, I think agree. it's better than all the other stuff there. And then we got a uh, cherry seven up. <laughs> Which is so good. Cherry syrup, <laughs> seven up is fire. Again, it's the same thing. Yeah, you add cherry to it, it's just, it just better. Just makes it that I much better. It's so it's uh, so good, but I think that's a perfect spot to put it. There's not much else to say. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Cherry Seven Up. Yeah. Canada Dry. My mom loves this stuff, uh, and it also it's good for stomach aches. I know it's kind of a bit of a what is it like a bit of a like an urban legend kind of thing. Um, yeah. but honestly, no, Canada dry helps. Anytime I have a stomach ache, I, I'm a bit lactose intolerant. So if I get like a stomach ache, I'll, I'll start drinking some cherry, some cherry seven up is what I was about to say. I'll start drinking <laughs> some Canada dry and I'll feel a lot better, uh, much faster than if I were to just let myself sit there. So, yeah. um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I just don't really like ginger ale, but it is the best out there absolutely. of all the ginger ale and it's super popular. Mm -hmm. Like I, I worked in an RV center and we had like a soda machine up that was free. Like you could come and get drinks whenever. And it would always just go. As soon yeah. as we got can of dries, gone. Yeah. Like just, just really quickly. So it's good stuff. It's, it's clear. So it's good. You know, it's, it's better for you. It makes you pee. You know, it's, it's good stuff. We, we, we like clear sodas. True. Uh, I think it goes there though. Top, uh, uh, top of a underneath Pepsi. I think yeah. Pepsi's a little better than it. And I think it's better yeah, than I all think... the other stuff. Yeah. That's a perfect spot for it. Schweppes though is like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, it's, it's uh, it's something, all right. Schweppes it's, gives me the same aftertaste that Pepsi does. I mean, yeah, Seven Up well, does rather. Or, seven, up. seven Up. Yeah, it, I yeah, one hundred percent. It, it's basically just way worse Canada Dry. Yeah. Honestly. But it's not bad. It's not like inherently bad. It's just not great. Yeah. You know. I think it's definitely less than Seven Up though, so I put it there. Honest, I'd I'd put it like all the way bottom of e tier really? I, I really don't think it's that great yeah okay i mean i i think it's underneath seven up and i think it's better than this other stuff but um in the middle there. yeah i think it's yeah it goes here it goes here yeah it's definitely not better than rc <laughs> <laughs> um okay mellow yellow this is a this is a bit of a obscure one but not too obscure it's becoming less obscure. Yeah, I it think is. it's because they rebranded it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it's it's still like, I, why would you pick this? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's I, solid. It's definitely unique. But I don't know. It just it, it doesn't seem like it's better. Man. Than... Huh? I disagree. Really? Where? What do you think? I'm thinking this is like easy, easy A tier for me. This is a good soda. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Really? Yeah. This is a good soda. I mean, I don't know, man. I was going to say, Mellow Yellow just reminds me of, like, that one kid you got paired up with in a group project, and, like, they don't say anything, but you could just tell they're kind of weird and into some weird stuff, but then you get a good grade, and you're like, oh, I mean, Mellow Yellow was cool. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't hang out with them, but they're cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. I feel bad for Mellow Yellow now. Goddamn. <laughs> I am. Um... Like I don't know, man. I just, I enjoy myself some mellow yellow. I enjoy myself some mellow yellow. I'd say if we're going uh, in like combination of both our opinions, I'd say bottom A tier is fine. Yeah, I think that's fair. Squirt. <laughs> nice. Shout out to, shout out to uh, Finding Nemo one time. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's just, uh, why? You know, like, I don't get it. 
It's uh, this is a um, it's like a grapefruit flavor, I think. I'm pretty sure, and it's good. I mean, it's 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 good, it's good soda. I've not had it in a long time. I thought it was similar to Mellow Yellow. No, it's it's a distinct taste. It's similar oh. to Mellow Yellow in branding and in 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 like attempt of of branding, but it's a different taste completely. I'm, I'm pretty oh. sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't have much to say about it then. I thought it was completely different <laughs> than what it is. Oh. So you got this one. I will put it. Uh, I'm put it. I'll put it underneath Mellow Yellow actually, because it's a different taste. But I think I prefer Mellow Yellow. But it's definitely better than the other stuff there. And the only reason RC is there is because Storm doesn't like it. But it, <laughs> in my opinion, RC should be up there. Just, I mean, keep seeing it, and I'm like, no, it's not better. But I have to put it there. Anyway, um, Crush. This is a this is a classic one. Yeah, or orange soda is just really solid. Like it's mm -hmm. it's really like just like a poppy taste, you know? Like you get it and you're like, oh wow, that was that was a lot of flavor, cool. but it's good. You know? It's carb it's like carbonated sunny D or carbonated tang. Not like specifically yeah, that flavor, but similar in like style. Yeah, and and I think it's really good for that reason. It's just not like insanely good. Like I I couldn't have this multiple days in a row. Like yeah. it's it's a little too much, but it's still good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know where I'd put it though. Uh, I think it's gotta go somewhere A tier. I just don't know where. Like That's maybe middle or towards the top. In between one of the root beers. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like here. What do you think? Works for me. Okay. The now, thing is though, with Fanta, I was just I was literally just talking about this last night. I genuinely do not taste a difference. Like I, I don't know how there's such a big rivalry, because it like when someone's like, oh, I can't taste the difference between Coke and Pepsi. I'm like, what? Because they, they they taste very different. Mm -hmm. But with this, I mean, they're both orange soda. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. How, how different can you get, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I completely agree with you. I, I think they're both great in their own right, but they also are very similar. Uh, with that being said, I think Fanta's better just simply because of the branding. I mean, yeah, they do have a lot more... Uh, Notoriety. A lot better advertising. Mm -hmm. But... um. I definitely see Orange Crush a lot. Like, I, I see it a lot in, like, grocery stores and stuff. Yeah. Not necessarily restaurants. I'd say Fanta's more of, like, if I'm comparing them, Fanta's more name brand than Crush. I think Crush is closer to, like, store brand stuff mm -hmm. than, than Fanta is. They're obviously, it's not, obviously. But if I'm comparing them, I'd say that's kind of where I'd put it. That's fair. Now, I don't know why we only have one other flavor of Fanta and no other flavors of Crush. <laughs> and I also don't know why it's the grape Fanta. It's the most popular one, okay. other than maybe pineapple, but pineapple's whack. I'll, I'll let you know right now. Pineapple Fanta is whack, and I stand by that opinion. But anyway, Grape Fanta's good, though. It's, it's again, it's another, like, wow, this is a lot of flavor of one thing. Pretty good for what it does. I couldn't have this, like, too too much, though. Like, it's, yeah. it's definitely a lot. But I've just never been a grape fan. Like, it just, that, that flavor to me doesn't Same. seem very appealing. It's like, like I such would a take cherry or whatever distinct every flavor. Day. It is, and it's it's really good at what it does. It's just it's like gra <laughs> grape soda is like the country music of soda. It's like <laughs> it has its audience. It's really good for what it is. It's popular, but like it's not for me. No, not for me. All right, I think where we put it though. I think it's in B tier, like below RC. If that's like the bar for you, <laughs> <laughs> that is the bar for me. <laughs> um. Okay, so I don't know who made this tier list, but apparently they're Kyle because they sure as hell love their Mountain Dews. Listen, listen, listen. As a COD player, growing up, I've had a lot of Mountain Dew. Same. And it gets worse every time for me. I just, <laughs> I just don't. It's just too much. Like, and I love sugar. I have a ton. I eat tons of candy all the time. I love sweets. If we're but talking like, about sugar Lord. there's a soda in the future here that we're going to talk about. But yeah, no, Mountain Dew, I agree with you. It's just it's just way too much yeah it's way too much it's good yeah, like don't get me wrong I, I love mountain dew but it's definitely it's it's this is like a kids want it kind of drink which and i think is why it's so popular there's plenty of adults that like it too but it's like it definitely screams like you know like the it's like the blue raspberry you know what i mean yeah like, i can't I, I wouldn't get that now but you know back in the day it was it was all the rage yeah so i think i honestly think it's c tier tbh but i don't know what do you think i don't know the last time i had mountain dew 
like just straight regular mountain dew that's what i'm saying the base mountain dew it's fine yeah. but like eh, eh. i'm sorry mountain dew you might be able to <laughs> redeem yourself but uh diet mountain dew On, here's no 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 it's not that bad it is really? not really i i have been i have i have not tried it but my friends that do they really like it they say it's way better than uh mountain dew i i know that's not the overwhelming popular opinion but um and i just don't I, all the other diet sodas are just so much lower than their other other counterparts i don't see how diet mountain dew could be better than regular mountain dew sure i mean i think it's top of d tier but i don't think it's i don't think it's a dr pop tier poor dr pop man he's just <laughs> he's delegated to his own pop. tier who is that i don't, I don't, I don't know i don't know <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh man what's the uh, next one uh this is like a i don't remember oh i don't remember the exact name of it but it's like a clear like 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 almost berry flavored mountain dew it's really oh, good yeah. they're, they're they're really solid they're yeah really I'm, solid. I'm, I'm gonna look it up real quick just so we get the exact um exact flavor prof flavor name uh that's not mountain dew ice no uh, Dew Shine. I don't know if you've had this. It's a complete side tangent while I'm looking this up. Dew Shine. If you've never had the Dew Shine Mountain Dew, that stuff is so good. Dew Shine is underrated. I don't know if it's like a limited run or something, but that stuff is ridiculously good. It only comes in their glass bottles, but that stuff is wonderful. Yeah, this is Mountain. This is Mountain Dew Whiteout. It's smooth citrus. I think I'm thinking yeah, of yeah. a different one. That's the very one. But this one, yeah, this is good. This is really good. Yeah, I've I've had this one a few times. It to me, it's like, it's just a little bit better than Seven Up. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I, I can't compare it to anything in A or S tier, but I think it's like pretty solid. As I yeah. guess, like an alternative soda or like something that wouldn't be your first or second option, but it's yeah. there. It's definitely better than the original. Yeah, I yeah, high key. Yeah. Then there's Blue Mountain Dew. This one's also good. <laughs> yeah, a lot of I'm definitely not on, like super high on it, but I know a lot of people are, and um, it's solid, but I. Ugh. I don't know. I, I think it's in kind of like the like the Sprite Cranberry range. Like yeah. it's it's good. It's definitely an option, but I, I I'd have to go through a few options before I get there. Same. Yeah. I think it's better than these three though. Yeah, I agree. Um. Then we've got this is Baja Blast, bro. This is Baja, Baja Blast. Blast. You can't Baja put Blast. Baja Blast anything lower than A. I'm not letting you. I don't think that's fair. I think it. <clears throat> I think it goes like in between Mellow Yellow and Seven Up. Like it's pretty good. But yeah. the thing is, it's hard to find. Like at least for me, whenever I whenever I'm looking for it, it's it's, it's tough. Uh, like it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's Taco it's Bell not. exclusive. Oh, is it really? I think it's Taco Bell exclusive, and they ran it very like, like very specifically for a little while in cans. Well, that explains it, because I'm like I have never seen that in a store before. But yeah. When I've had it, it's fire. It's good stuff. All right, so you probably would have noticed there was a Mountain Dew there that is not there anymore. Um, we talked about it a little bit, and I decided to to cut that. Um, we we never had that one. We didn't realize we didn't we didn't notice it before we started this. But uh, it was it was a Mountain Dew we never had before. Uh, um, so I think it was called Pitch Black. I've never had it. So we're gonna move on from that. But we're gonna go into Black Label. This one I think was a very specific run of Mountain Dew. Um, I only ever saw it at the little convenience store at my college, and I think a girlfriend at the time got it once, and it was it was good. It was it was good. It, it, it's it's not. I don't know. It's better than regular Mountain Dew. I don't know where I'd put it, though. I think I'd probably put it, like, maybe, like, here. It's good, though. Yeah, the thing is, is just, I have never heard anything about this or seen <laughs> anyone drink it before or seen an ad for it or anything. Like, I had no idea this existed. So, I don't know. And I've been around the block. I've lived in a lot of different places, and I've just never seen this. And with all the other Mountain Dews, I've at least heard of it or heard someone talk about it or seen it once. But with this one, I'm like... Are we sure this exists? Like, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> is this not I'm a discontinued not soda? Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've definitely had it, and it's 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 very it's very it's very good. It's specific. It's it's very weirdly specific run. So I'm gonna put it there because I think that's where it goes. There you go. But uh, next up, Mountain Dew Code Red. This is also a classic. Yeah, people people stand for Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it is, but. I think it's a cherry, isn't it? This. 
Maybe. Let me check. Um, Mountain Dew. I, it's right? definitely like if it is, it's less cherry flavor than I remember. Like it, it just tasted more like fruity. Yeah. And, and... With a with a rush of cherry flavor, it says. But regardless, it's really good. Yeah. Like it, it slaps. Like it's, it's really it's good. Easily a tier. Mm -hmm. But uh, where in a tier? Yeah. Though? I think it's I think it's right below Canada Dry. Like I think it's really good. Yeah. People like this a lot. <laughs> like, I, I definitely lot. agree with you. It's definitely something that like if my first choices are gone, I'm definitely gonna pick this one. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. It's a fun it's a fun switch up. Alright, last but not least, have you ever had Surge? Surge is like I swear, Surge is exactly what I imagine the kelp shake tastes like from Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> like, them into those monsters, but they're like, ooh, it's got an aftertaste. Like, that, like that's what Surge it's is. It's fun, and, but I could, could not do this more than, like, twice a year. Like, I, I, just think, don't. I think the reason for that is it's pure sugar. It's like yeah. ridiculous amounts of sugar. The only time I've ever had it is because it was it was a 90s soda that got canned and then brought back specifically by Burger King. And the only oh. time I've had it was at Burger King. And it was good, but I could not drink it every day. That stuff is pure sugar. Yeah, it, it definitely reminds me of like, as a kid, I used to go to like a restaurant and then take a little bit of like every soda and put it into my drink and mix it <laughs> in this gross concoction. Like that's what Surge is like to me. I'm just like, Oh my god! Like it, it's a lot, and it's definitely an experience, but mm -hmm. I can't do it for very long. It's <laughs> it's know? it's good, but it definitely is too much. And I think because it's too much, I think it has to go like here. Yeah, I really do. Like it's it's great flavor wise, but like oh my god, I feel like I need to rinse my whole body out after because <laughs> of the sugar. It, it's, it's almost energy drink levels of sugar. Yeah, it's 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 intense. Yeah. But uh, there you go. That that's oh. that's it. There you have it. There's shortest the tier list to date. Shortest tier list to date. This one's a little more digestible for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed watching, hearing our opinions. It was a little more casual this time. I think that was kind of fun. Let us know what you think about that. If you prefer something a little more in depth or something a little more casual like this, let us know what other tier lists you want to see. Let us know what your tier list opinions are on this one. Remember, it is going to be linked down below in the description. But uh, without further ado, I've been Dark Zekrom. I'm Dr. Pop. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Please be sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out, everybody. Take care. Bye.